Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Like with Shelly. If you guys are new here, if you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. Today's video, I will be talking about. It's like a story time, and I don't know. This happened this morning. I was telling my friend, like I live in a different state than my hometown. My other friend. I knew since like 2014 but then we're slowly trying to talk again and I don't know things got mixed up or stuff like that and I don't know <sighs> okay this friend she was like a friend that I knew that I used to work with called the store the grocery store I used to work was called Jewel Osco it's a grocery store Osco is like a pharmacy, and then Jewel is like a grocery store, but it's called Jewel Osco, and people shop there for like medicines or food or whatever you want. So it's a grocery store, and I used to work with her. So I live in a different state than her. She lives in my hometown where I used to work, and I was texting her, I think, yesterday or today. I texted her saying that my husband and I are having a baby, I'm pregnant, and then like the baby's gender reveal will be November because that's when my husband and I will know when, if we're having a boy or a girl, so that's in November, and then the baby's due date will be in March 2025, and, and then for some reason she was saying good for you, like she doesn't care. Like, I wasn't trying to say it to be snooty or coming at her. That's when in another text, at her last text, she said, Oh, I'm glad you're having a family, but it seemed like you were coming at me. Thanks. I wasn't even coming at her. I don't even understand what she was saying. I was telling her, sending her a message about the good news. And she just said, good for you. She didn't say, oh, congrats, or anything like that. So then I just thought it was weird. And I don't know. It's nothing to really worry about because I really don't see her anymore. Anyways, I don't live in my hometown. I live in a different state than her anyways. So I blocked her number and like, I don't even care. Like she's 67 and I'm 37. So I feel like maybe I should have friends around my age than having friends like her. Because she's so toxic. Or not really toxic, but I don't know. She seems like she is. She's just mean and rude to me. I don't know why. Or maybe she's jealous for a 67-year-old to talk about me. And maybe she's jealous because she's not married and she never had kids or anything like that. But everyone's life is different. Everyone's life is life. Everyone's going through something and everyone's life is different. There's no reason, I don't know why she would not be happy for me. I wasn't pushing it in her face. I was just telling her the great news. Like I thought that's what people do when they wanna share some like news, some good news. It's a good, I mean, being pregnant or like having a baby is good news because you get to start a family and I wasn't trying to push it in her face if she thought I was I'm sorry but I didn't even think I was maybe she's just trying to start drama with me because that's all she felt like and I'm like I wasn't doing anything wrong and she's like neither did I I'm like whatever you're the one that said good for you instead of congratulations on your new baby or whatever, congratulations, I'm glad, I'm happy for you, Shelly, or whatever. No, she just says, good for you. I did think it was rude and I did think it was mean because most people, when you share some good news with somebody, they would say, congratulations, or I'm happy for you and your husband, or something like that, not just good for you. So whatever, I don't think I did anything wrong. She just, I just, that's why I just decided to block her number. And I'm just not going to talk to her anymore. 
I mean, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. It's her that did something. Most people, when someone has a baby or something, you say congratulations. Maybe she's maybe she's just upset because I'm married and she isn't, and I have a better life than her. I mean, she's jealous, and that she never got married and had kids. I don't know. I don't know. It's just stupid. I thought she would say congratulations, or or something like that. But, you know, she didn't, I don't know, it's not my problem. I really don't see her. Um, I really wouldn't hang out with her again either. She's not really a friend that I would hang out with. She changed a lot as a person, but um, it is what it is. I'm not going to, not gonna bother with her anymore because I thought she'd be happy for me, but she just is good for you. I think it's kind of like mean and nasty and mean and like rude to not say congratulations or I'm happy for you. Instead, she says, oh, I didn't do anything wrong, neither did I. Like I said, I didn't do anything wrong, neither did I. But then she's like, oh, I am glad, I am ha I'm glad that you're having a family but it seemed like you were coming at me. Thanks. So she was being mean about it. I wasn't coming at her. I was telling her. There is a big difference. I don't know, she's, I think she's just like stupid, I guess. Like she's always mean. Like if there's like a fight or something, like she always wants to win. She always wants to win the like the war or the fight or whatever or she thinks she's right and the person's always wrong and that's i don't know i just feel she's toxic and i told that to one of my other friends and she said she's happy for me and stuff like that and and then my friend thought my other friend thought she wasn't toxic but then i feel like she kind of is because why would someone just all of a sudden just say something mean and rude I don't understand. I think it's just crappy. Like she has nothing nice to say instead of just being mean and rude about it. Like there's no reason to be mean and rude. And then now I'm starting to take these every day. I take two every day and they smell really good. They smell like candy. You don't eat them like candy, you only take two. And they smell so good though. Like there's natural lemon, orange, strawberry flavors. And they smell so good. Um, so I have to take these every day. And I take two of them, which I have. So. And I'm hoping I get a girl, but if I don't, it's okay. A, even a boy would be great. But I'm hoping for a girl because I did have a boy in 2014 with my boyfriend, but but it was domestic violence. So then I put my son up for open adoption because I don't know. It's because I didn't have money or a place, money a place or things to buy him. So then he can, um, so then he can. um be happy like i didn't have money or a job or apartment or anything like that to help so the best thing was to put him up for open adoption i really didn't want to do that but that was the best thing for me in 2014 and i had to get away from the baby's dad in 2014 now things are better because my husband and i this is a different guy, not the guy from 2014. In 2014, I left the baby's father and I put my son up for open adoption. And before my son was born, my boyfriend and I, we broke up. And the adoption agency helped me get away from him because it was he was a domestic violence abuser. He abused me and he slammed my head against the wall twice. 
and he had a knife collection and everything. It was so bad. Um, but I'm so much better now. I'm with someone else and we dated before we like in 2020 we were mar or we were boyfriend girlfriend then we got engaged in 2021 and then we waited a little bit to get married and then we got married in 2024 and then yeah so we got married february 24 2024 and then a couple months later now we're pregnant now we're gonna have a baby and the baby's due date is march and then we're gonna <coughs> find the um, gender reveal of the baby in November. So we'll see in November if it's a boy or a girl. Um, I called my dad yesterday and I talked to my sister and I told them the news and they were very happy. My dad is happy that he's gonna be a grandpa and my sister is very happy that uh, she'll be an aunt. And my husband and I are very happy that we're going to be parents. And I have two cats, so um, we'll have to introduce the baby to the cats slowly. And we can't ignore the cats, I know that. So once the baby arrives, I need to pay attention to the cats too. Um, but yeah. Things have been better and or things are better and I'm much happier and stuff like that. My husband and I live in an apartment. We're um like married, thank goodness. Um I'm thirty seven years old. I had a baby when I was twenty seven, but I had to give him up and I gave him up to open adoption. I still stay in touch with the adoption parents, they're really nice and um, so yeah, now, it's different now. I'm married. My husband and I had a Catholic military wedding. So then we got married, like I said, February 24, 2024 of this year. And then now we're going to have a family. So I'm pregnant. And then I'm, or you, I will tell you guys, I'll make a video in November sometime once I find out if it's a boy or a girl I'll let you guys know and then um, I'll be having the baby in March in 2025 <coughs> sorry and then that's it and um, I don't know my voice seems kind of hoarse and then my dad was telling me something silly He's like telling me, don't smoke. And I'm like, um, I don't smoke. Okay, like, he was telling me most women sometimes smoke when they're pregnant. But I'm like, I'm not a smoker. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I was never a smoker. Even with my other pregnancy, I was never a smoker. So when my other pregnancy, when I was pregnant, I never smoked or drank. So, I think I'm good. I mean, I don't smoke, I don't drink. So, I'm pretty healthy. Um, that's about it. But, I'm very happy. But the thing is, I don't like with pregnancy symptoms. You get back pain, you get heartburn. Eventually, once you get into more of a pregnancy, you'll pee a lot. Um, you have cravings, you have morning sickness, back pain, like I said. Then once you get closer to your delivery date, you'll have contractions. They hurt. I don't like them. Um, you take your prenatal vitamins every day. You take two. Um, so yeah, um, and then I'm growing out my nails, which, <coughs> sorry, they look pretty good. I'm growing them out, so I'm trying not to bite them either, so they're looking really good. Um, I sometimes wear those fake nails because they're fun to wear, but you can have like, on Amazon, you can pick all these impress 
They're called impressed nails. You can pick any color you want. You can, get pur you can pick purple, blue, or any color. And um, you can pick any color. And so, like, I like what I like the like impressed nails. You take them off the sticky thing and you stick them on your your fingernail and you press down. They're like there's pink, there's oh baby blue, um pink, baby blue, a lilac purple. They have all different designs. Um even you can get toe ones. I never tried the toe ones. I'm not sure if I'd like those or not, but I'm not sure. I never tried them. They look cute though. Um so yeah, eventually I want to clean again, organize more stuff. Maybe eventually I'm going to vacuum again just to keep our carpet clean. And then eventually I'll probably start in a couple months my stomach will probably get bigger. Not looking forward to that, but that's what happens when you get pregnant. Um, so yeah. I'm really, really happy and excited about my pregnancy. I can't wait to know, like, if I'm having a boy or a girl or twins. I'm not sure, but um, but I'm very excited. So thanks, guys, for watching my videos, and I will see you next time in the next video. Bye.